Alright guys, here's another uh, autococker tag video for you guys. I'm going to do some um, e-blade stuff, going over some e-blade. In this case, it's a Warframe on a carnivore, but um, it still applies to most of the e-blade stuff. So for the interest of time, I already have the grips taken off. Um, let me zoom in on the board here. Now e-blades use a uh, optical switch board and a uh, magnet trigger so you have you still have your adjustment screws and then you have a magnet um, sensitivity screw and then you have your optical switch back here so in this video I'm basically going over the uh, hardware side of the e-blade uh, system so let's go ahead and take off the grip frame zoom back out Now, carnivores came with uh, two different types, or I guess three different types of boards. Uh, they came originally with the E1 board. Uh, most of the ones that have the E1 boards you're going to see also have the STL RAM with the, uh, with the TRV QEVs. And the later mo model carnivores came with the uh, 0B boards and some came with E2 boards. This one being a uh, E2 board. All right, so we got the frame off. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug these uh, wires here. You have your uh, your eye ribbon, which is this big one, big white one right here. You have your um, pancake noid, also known as the sear noid, which is this noid right here. And you have the cocky noid, which is your front noid up here. So just pull this right off. Now carnivores have this little um, wire pipe that kind of shields the wires because there's such a long distance between the front block and the um, the frame. So set that aside for a second and come back to it and take the uh, eye cover and the eye out. The eye covers are kind of like a rubberized material with a wire frame so they, uh, they can bend and they will hold, hold their shape. So there's your uh, eye cover and your reflective eye. These are reflective eyes, uh, not brake beam eyes. Brake beam eyes require um, two holes, one on either side of the body, and reflective eyes only require one. So there's your eye, and this is your um, talking noid. So that's all for that part. And back to the frame, we'll zoom back in. Now at the top you have a plate that kind of holds the sear and the spring and uh, the pancake noid all together. To get the sear out, we're going to have to loosen up a set screw right here on top. Find my Allen key. So loosen that up. I'm not going to take it out, that way I don't lose it. And then you have a sear pin just like on all slide frame or I guess all autocockers really. And loosen this all the way out, I guess. Alright, so there's your sear pin. Just push this right out. And your sear. Now, e blade sears and uh, normal mechanical sears are not interchangeable. Then you have your sear spring, just like on auto cockers. And to get the pancake noid out, there are two set screws on either side of the frame, one here and one right here. So we'll loosen those up. And also this uh, pancake noid is also called a clapper noid because it kind of claps, I guess. There's lots of names for this one. So this one, once you uh, loosen up these two set screws, you want to pull the wire out from this little slot right here, and it should just slide right up, just like that. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take the battery out and the board out. 
For the board, you have three screws, one right here located just behind the optical sensor, uh, one over here just above the top, the uh, three buttons, and one down low. Gotta find my Allen keys. It's gonna be this guy right here. Now you never want to over tighten these screws whenever you're installing it or else you could uh, crack your board. So just a little word of, word of warning there. And then one down low, like I said. I'm just going to let this right out. Dump my screws. And there's your uh, E2 port. I can go ahead and show you with the powered on. Yeah, if I can do this. E2. This is the uh, 0 0.24 mode. And the last part. I guess I've got a couple more parts. You have your buttons. You got three buttons, and they correspond with the three on the board. These will are just loose. The board that they sit between the board and the frame. So you see these three holes. Whenever you're putting them back in, you're gonna have to set them in, and then kind of hold your frame like this so that they don't fall back out because there's nothing holding them in until you put the board back in. So to take the uh, trigger out, just like with the sear, we had to loosen up uh, one screw and then push the pin out. And there's the uh, pin, and now the trigger's loose. And on the top of the frame here, we have the magnet. And to get the magnet out, there's a screw right there that holds it in place. And then here's your trigger. This one being a samurai trigger. You have your um, post-travel, your pre-travel, and your magnet tension right up there. So those are all the parts for an E-Blade autococker. Thanks for watching.